Hello everybody, this is Gregory at the Cinema Rag. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to continue the Sexy Saturday series and talk about Carla Gugino. Now before we begin, if you appreciate my content, please hit the like button, post a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell because these episodes will come fresh to you and it just helps with the algorithm. Now, you might be like, who, who's Carla Gugino? Now, look, understand, like, the original Sexy Saturday series, again, if you're new to this channel, I know this episode's probably not being released on a Saturday, but when it was in, on podcast form, and you can find the first 200 episodes still on Apple and Spotify, every Saturday I did a Sexy Saturday where I talk about a woman that I find attractive. So that's where the term comes from. So I did 40 actresses before Carla Gugino. So even though Carla Gugino might be Sexy Saturday number you know, 15 by the time this comes out in video form, remember a lot of those podcast episodes are being moved over and they're not all going to be released until probably by February. Either way, Carla Gugino, I find attractive. She's got these beautiful green eyes. You don't find a lot of people that have truly green eyes. You'll find people like my brother has hazel eyes, but to see somebody with, with green eyes is, is rare. So Gugino is Italian, as the name would suggest. This girl's been working it. I mean, you could, this, she was born in 71 and she was a, a child actress. Look at some of these shows. And these were shows that I used to love. She was on Who's the Boss? Webster. Alf, Saved by the Bell, Falcon Crest, the Ferris Bueller spinoff, the one where Aniston was in it, Doogie Howser, The Wonder Years. I mean, it's just crazy. And then, then she got into more legitimate movies. I remember probably first seeing her, even though she was doing a lot of movies like Troop Beverly Hills and stuff when she was like a teenager, probably Snake Eyes, the Nicolas Cage movie, was the first time that she caught my attention. And she was probably in her mid-20s at that point and she had a decent run i think in terms of her movies she's probably most famous for being in the spy kids trilogy along with banderas they play the couple of their, their spies and then the, in the first one i think they get kidnapped right and the kids have to take over and rescue them that's probably her fame most famous in terms of the movies i mean she's done look she's been a night of the museum in 2006 she was in righteous kill that was you know relatively big movie american gangster was a you know humongous movie with denzel and with uh russell crowe she did that in 2007 she was in the watchmen in 2009 it's not like this woman hasn't done movies 2011 she's in sucker punch uh and so forth man of steel in 2013 and then she's in batman versus superman in 2014 so she's doing a lot of that Zack snyder stuff and she's in Gunpowder Milkshake in 2021. And there's just a lot of movies that she does. And kudos to her because she still works. And this woman is a hustler. She's 52 years old and she's been working since the late 80s. In terms of her television, I probably remember her television aside from that run. And I don't remember her being on ALF and all these shows that I used to watch. But on Entourage, we just talked about Entourage, a TV show I love. She was in season 3B. She plays after... This is not a spoiler, it's been 15 years, where Vince uh, fires Ari, she is the agent that is hired by him and by E. And, you know, shockingly, because Vince is attractive and a sex addict, he ends up sleeping with her. And, you know, this is like 2006, 2007. So she's, you know, uh, 35 at this point. And they show some scenes where she's like, she's smoking. She's smoking at 35. And then later on, she's in Californication, another TV show that I appreciated quite a bit. And she plays a love interest to David Duchovny in, uh, in, in I think, it's like season four. Great show. I might do an episode on Californication. And the woman has been on the show Justified as well. I mean, the woman gets work. You recognize her face. So why do I find her beautiful? I mean, she's got a gorgeous face, especially when she was younger. She kind of has this mixture of a little Jennifer Connelly because she is curvy. Young Connolly was very curvy before she got too austere and skinny. She's got a little Connolly in her. Nay, I say she looks a little Eva Green. Little Eva Green. And to me, she's got she's like a mixture of Mary Uncle Tiard, another sexy Saturday. I don't think that episode's been released yet. And Eva Green, another sexy Saturday. She's got a little concoction of those two. You know, she's got these, these striking eyes. The very kind of chubby cheeks, but not overweight cheeks. And then just a great body. I think she's just very beautiful. In terms of her personal life, just fascinating. Again, she's 52. She's been with the same guy since 1996. So she was 25 years old. She's been with the same dude. And he's not like a well-known Hollywood person, but they've been together since 96. 
and they are not going to have kids, clearly, because she's 52. And on record, they've said they don't believe in marriage. Quote, the guy that she's with, his name is Sebastian Gutierrez, says, quote, marriage isn't important for us. We like being boyfriend and girlfriend. There's something sexy and fun about that. We're very much about that. There's nothing holding us here other than our desire to be together. Okay, she said that in 2009 after they had been together 23 years. Well, I don't know. You got to be careful because now you're in your 50s. And Sebastian, I mean, we know it's it's not just Hollywood has a history of of putting women to the pasture when they get in their 50s. But let's say men with options sometimes do this. And if you're not in the confines of marriage, I'm not saying that Sebastian's going to do this. And as of I know right now, he hasn't done this. But the idea of boyfriend, girlfriend maybe works when you're when you're 27, 28, when you're 52. I don't know. But look. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell have been doing this forever, so I wish her the best. Uh, it's sad she never had kids, kind of like Heather Graham and Renee Zellweger, these other beautiful women, both of which are Sexy Saturdays here and on the podcast, that it feels like their DNA has been wasted in the fact that they haven't had kids. But, you know, Carla, you are a beautiful woman, and you work hard, you hustle. You've been working for I mean, close to more than 30 years, 35 years, and I do wish you the best. And I just think you're, especially at your peak, just ravishingly beautiful. Guys, post in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. What's your take on Carla Gugino? Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.